Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dunmat7 and today we are back with more Hearthstone. And today we are gonna see if the boogeyman or boogie monster. Is it boogeyman or boogie monster? I think it's boogie monster. We're gonna see if the boogie monster is as good at all. Since I have just unpacked him, I made a rogue deck trying to make him okay as a card. Because everyone says it is probably the worst card of Whispers of the Old Gods, and possibly all of Hearthstone next to Domo, which is one of my favorite cards. So, we're gonna see if we can make him good at all. So, who is our first opponent? It is Jaina the Mage. Uh, Rippin. Rippin the Mage, actually. So, um, we'll get rid of Boogie Monster to start off with. And we'll get him later, but we got Sprint here later. It's not much better than Boogie Monster. But we do have a Undercity Huckster and a Dubai String Leader and Backstab for leading. Okay, he's playing um, a Mana Worm. Forgot what it was called there for a second. Um, do we coin Dubai String Leader? I think that might be the best option. We can backstab coin Dufia string leader. I think that's what we're gonna do. There we go. Seems pretty good. So we are opening pretty strongly here. Oh, there's the golden carrot. Potato thing, yam. It might be a yam. Oh, we got a pink one there. I just clicked on it. Uh, no, we don't want the orange yam thing. There we go. Uh, I think instead of playing Undercity Huckster, we'll hero power to kill that. And that way we keep our device abandoned. Yeah, device spend. So, we got a golden turn up, I guess. It could be a yam thing too, but I prefer the turn ups. Okay, we'll, we'll play Undercity Huckster and do Bias Bandit there and hit base with our hero power. Or did I call this do Bias Ringleader? I mean, I meant Undercity Huckster. And then I also added Thistle Tea in here. Oh, Polymorph. Okay. I mean, why not polymorph it? And we'll take Shadow Strike. Yeah, let's do Shadow Strike. And we'll hero power, hit face, and attack with the sheep. Um yeah, we'll water our little plants down here. Try snipping all the flowers off. But they just regrow too fast. We'll hit the gong. Oh, okay, there's another Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, yeah, it's also a Reno Jackson deck. So we'll Abusive Sergeant the Sheep. And attack base and hero power. Hopefully we draw, um, what's it called? It's not Shadow Step. It's the one that gives a minion stealth for a turn. And Boogie Monster, that's how you keep it alive for the first turn. You play it on turn 9. Okay, there's a, um, secret. So if it, let's test if it's near entity. Yeah, it looks like it is. So I'll hero power. And replace our blade. Next turn, if we don't get anything good, we'll either Thistle Tea or Sprint. I think we'll Sprint. Okay, so let's Sprint. And... It's okay, there's the Boogie Monster. 
And you still don't have the one that gives you stealth for a turn. I guess we can Shadow Strike Elven Archer, the summoning stone. Oh wow, it's a Faceless Summoner, 1-1 one, one taunt. Wow. Okay, so we'll... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's one mana too much. So I think our biggest priority is just to get rid of that. I was also thinking about putting the Apothecary out, but we're one, one mana too little. What is he going to play this turn? Or she. Rippin could be a she. I feel like it's more of a male name though. Oh, okay, there's a faceless summoner. Okay, uh, Twilight Flame Caller. Let's see, what do we get? Preparation? Not bad. Um, we could call to Posticary. I think that's what we want to do. Then we could prep, assassinate that. Yeah. We can attack face hero power. And even though he has more minions on the board, I feel like we have more board control now. But let's see what he does. Or she, again. Okay, another summoning stone. Arcane Missile. Okay. Is this Zealous Infantry? That's what it's called, right? Oh, wow. All three hit Cult Apothecary. Oh, it's a Zealous Initiative. So, let's... Let's do gang up on that. And then Thistle Tea, see what we get. Oh, there we go, we got three Conceals. And we can sap that. Is this give... Oh, give a random name. So yeah, we can just attack that, I guess. Get rid of it. Okay, there's Summoning Stone. We can vanish this turn as well. Okay, yeah, let's vanish. Or do we want to do this first? No, it'd kill it, right? Yeah. Uh, and I'm assuming that's another mirror entity. So we don't want to play anything too big. And we can Shadow Step Reno as well. So we can heal ourselves again. Okay, there's Summoning Stone again. So we can Boogie Monster Conceal. And then the Boogie Monster can kill Summoning Stone. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Unless, does he have- no, he's not really close to lethal. So we'll do that. Oh, I forgot a mirror entity. Yeah, that's a problem now. Uh, <laughs> I just lost the game because of being really stupid. Unless Mad Bomber can do anything. No, it just made it worse for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I was being really stupid there. I could have easily won that game too, with my Renos. But no, no, just being really stupid does not help at all. So the Boogie Monster lost me the game that time. It's all because of those stupid Boogie Monster. But, 
I feel like we can still make them good. So we'll see in this game if the Boogie Monster is very good. And we'll be playing against, well, a worthy opponent as usual. But we are playing against Mikuk the um, Paladin. Okay, not not a bad starting hand, I'll be honest. I'll keep that. And we'll see we'll see how it goes. Maybe he's not there, maybe. We might just win the game. Oh no, he's there. Okay, um, so we can, well, let's see if he plays a one drop first. Nope, okay, so we can play Argent Squire, which counters, like, two of his reinforced guys, Silverhand Recruits. And we can also use Mad Bomber. Hopefully it doesn't kill our guy, but it hopefully kills their guy. And it puts a 3-2 on the board. Okay, we kept our Argent Squire. And it kills it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Perfect. I mean, it would have been perfect if that last one that hit us hit him. But, you know, it can't be exactly perfect all the time. That's probably one of the better options that we got. Okay, we can trade into that and play Huckster. And, yeah, that works out pretty well, I'll be honest. And the next turn we can play the Infested Torrin. And then on turn 5, if he has a lot of minions out, we can Dark Iron Sculptor. Okay, maybe we should Hero Power instead of Toying, because then we can kill that and keep all of our minions. And there we go. He really wants you to buy that bundle cake, by the way. The Undercity Huckster. He seems to be a pretty big fan of those. Who else talks about funnel cakes, though? I know there's an. Oh, is it? It's one of the Tuscars, isn't it? Oh, okay. There's Cthulhu. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. So I guess we can Dark Iron Skulker here. Wouldn't be terrible. And we'll attack here. Yep. Next turn, if he doesn't play anything, we can tour in hero power. Or if he does play something, we can tour in eviscerate. Depending on what it is. Let's see what he plays, though. Nikik. Nikik the paladin. Oh, okay. Yeah, Twilight Elder. Okay, so yeah, we'll play Torin and Eviscerate. And yeah, Torin, Eviscerate. And just hit face. I don't know why he wants you to buy that funnel cake so badly. It's kind of strange. I never really have people coming up to me that angrily asking me to buy a funnel cake but it's they're not bad funnel cakes I'll be honest about that okay is he going to trade into my huckster if so then I get a paladin card hopefully he does well hopefully he doesn't hopefully it's face oh skulker okay he hit the skulker Kind of wondering about that. I feel like he did that in the wrong order. Because, well, let's first play Jeweled Scarab. Oh, um, let's get Bron- Bran- Bran- Bran Bronzebeard. And we'll just hit the face. I guess we can play Bran. 
I mean, I don't think we have too many battle cries. I mean, we have Jeweled Scarab, uh, Dark Iron Skulker, Cult Apothecary, um, Elven Archer. That could be it. Oh, okay. Consecration. Oh, that's why I wanted to get down to two health. I see. Ooh, Dragon Consort. Wow, next dragon I play costs four less. Too bad I don't think I have any dragons in here. And we'll hit that. Yeah, if I had a dragon, that'd be really good because I could place like a 10 mana cost dragon for 6 mana. I would be happy with that. In the 10 mana, what I have in mind is. Deathwing Dragon Lord. If you could pull that off with any other dragon deck like Bran on turn four, Dragon Consort turn five, Deathwing Dragon Lord turn six, that'd be really, really good. I think we sap that. I think that's the right option. And Pit Snake for when he plays it again. Okay. So he has one health left. Oh, we could have, eh, we could have won. But he's one health. Unless he Reno Jacksons, we've won. But we didn't get to play Boogie Monster, which is kind of sad. But I think we have enough time to play one more game after this. Yeah, we have plenty of time. Hmm. What are you thinking, Nikik? Is there any way you can save yourself? Any way possible. There we go. Well played. Hooray! And we'll play one last round. See if we can actually pull off the boogie monster combo. Hopefully we can this time. I would be not very happy with that because in our Yogg-Saron video, we didn't get to play Yogg-Saron. In our Nizoth video, we didn't get to play Nizoth. And hopefully we get to play Boogie Monster in this game. Okay, we're playing against Ravenclaw 23, the Paladin. I think we'll keep beneath the grounds, but get rid of Shadow Strike and Dark Iron Skulker. Okay, not terrible. I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, we could have used a one drop that wasn't conceal, but but if I replaced that, I could have gone boogie monster. Oh no, I would have gone Reno Jackson, but that is possibly equally as bad. And so next turn we'll play Huckster. And then the turn after Beneath the Grounds. I really like Beneath the Grounds as a card. Well met. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Okay. Oh, Lepernome. Okay. After this, play Matter Bomber. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Mad Bomber. You're a really good card, you know? It's the golden part of me that makes you good, right? Yeah. What will you do now? I'd like to see how you counter that. Yeah, I feel sad for Lepernome. It used to be one of my favorite cards, but then they nerfed it. Now I'm kind of sad about it. It was a little bit overpowered, though. But, it's the changes they had to make to keep Whispers of the Old God semi-new, I guess you could say. Ooh, I think we want a hero power here, actually. And we'll, uh, Abusive Sergeant. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, next turn we'll un beneath the grounds, if we can. 
Unless he plays a large minion or something, we should be safe with playing beneath the ground. Oh! Sword of Justice? Okay. I haven't seen that card in a while, I'll be honest. Yeah, beneath the grounds, and we'll keep our weapon for if he uses his hero power. Oh, there's an ambush already. Oh, wait, but he gets the. Oh, wow. Okay, are we gonna get the third one as well? No. But that was really good. I'm really happy about that happening. Two new rubians right after you play beneath the grounds. It's perfect. Um, Boogie Monster. We have a 23, 1 in 23 chance of drawing the Boogie Monster. Which is not very good odds, I'll be honest. But, and we have to wait till turn 9. And we already have Conceal. We have half of the, half of the strong play. Ravenclaw 23. You are pretty slow. Maybe he disconnected from seeing all the Norubians that I got. It could be very possible. You wonder. Okay. So we'll play Huckster. Hit face hero power. And just hit face. And, well, I'll make this episode very special for you guys. I'll do an extra. I usually only do two battles, but since this one was so short, we'll try one more time to see if we get the um, boogie monster. So let's play Reno for, for our magic luck for next game, and we'll only attack with the Nerubians. Okay, so one more game to pull off our combo. Hopefully we can do it. If we get them in our starting hand, I'll keep them this time. So then we can for sure do the combo. Hopefully we can do it this time. And I can hear the neighbor now mowing his lawn. I don't know if you can hear that. It's pretty loud. So we're against Iraq 2003 Gul'dan. So we'll get rid of Skulker, Assassinate, Apothecary. But we'll keep Scarab. Okay, we got con Conceal, Pit Snake, and Thistle Teeth. Not great, but if he doesn't play one drop, maybe we'll play Pit Snake. Yeah, we'll play Pit Snake, I think. He kills whatever two, three drop he plays. Because he might not play anything for turn two either. Or he plays Open Archer. Something I was not expecting, I'll be honest. Um, let's get Burgle. I like Burgle. It's a nice card. Can't really argue with it. Darkshire Councilman, okay. So we'll Burgle. Renounce Darkness. Okay. We could play that next turn. I'd be. It's kind of surprising, I'll be honest. Okay, let's, let's renounce darkness. Okay, we're a warrior now. And we'll play Mad Bomber. Okay, hit him, hit him. Oh, So you did pretty well, I'll be honest, Mad Bomber. You did well. What are you going to play now, Iraq? Okay. Okay, now it's a 5-4. So we can play Ravaging Ghoul 
and coin infested torrent or do bias ring leader I think that's a better option Whew. I don't like Darkshire, Darkshire accounts on them, I don't know why I'm just not a big fan of them Because look, on turn 6 he has a 9-4 and a full board. Did I really put Yogg-Saron in this deck? Well, apparently I did. There we go. We're maintaining board control now. Shadow Bolt, okay, fair enough. He's gonna run the pig in the 3 1. Is it called pig? It's boar, okay. My fault for calling you pig, Mr. Boar. I think we'll thistle tea. Okay, we got a bunch of saps now. And we'll abusive sergeant and let him in there. And if he plays any big minions, we can always vanish or sap. Okay. This is kind of scary, you know, with all his charge minions. So let's... Let's sap that. Attack into that. Hero power. And pass the turn. Is this some sort of like face warlock? Face lock? I guess you could call it. Uh, it could be. You don't really see warlocks playing charge minions that much anymore. I mean, it was playing Dark Shire Councilman. Well. We can pr play Vanish. Yeah, let's play Vanish. But first, let's... Oh, we can't use our weapon anymore, can we? Okay, let's Vanish, and then we can Hero Power, and then Yogg's are on next turn. Let's see how our Yogg Saron does. Okay, just play a bunch of Murlocs now. Murloc lock. Hopefully Yogg Saron doesn't let us down. I'll also put an extra spell in by using the coin. Okay, we've got an Elven Archer. I guess we could also play that, right? I mean, Oh, I played that in the wrong order, didn't I? Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can possibly live till the next turn by doing this. And it gives us a bunch more spells, I'll be honest. So we can Yogg Saron next turn for a lot of more spells than we could have last turn. If he doesn't kill us. It turns out I'm playing Yogg-Saron in my non-Yogg-Saron video. What will happen now? Is he gonna kill me? Okay, Swampoos. Harvest Golem. Oh, that's pretty scary. Um, ooh, okay, we're gonna sap Reno Jackson. Hero power. Well, Reno Jackson scared me there when he wasn't healing me. Oh my god. I had, like, a heart attack there. We could actually survive this. I'm really happy now. We could pull off our, our boogie monster combo still. 
Okay, he's really wanting to kill my Jackson. Before I, like, shadow step it or something. Okay, there's the, uh, Frost Wolf Warlord again. So, sap? No, okay. Let's jog Saran. Okay, we can attack for some reason. Um, okay. Wow, this is actually pretty good. I'll be honest. What did we just give him? Death Rattle Summon and 2 2. Okay. Not bad at all. I'm really happy about that. Someone's car alarm is also going off, but I am really happy that Dog Saron went that way. Let's see what he plays now. Okay, Void Walker. Life tap. He should have probably life tap before you Void Walker just in case. You got an 8 drop, but okay. Okay, Stormwind Knight. Charging the end of Dog Saron? No. Yeah. No. You're hitting face. Well, 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 Mr. Huckster, there you are. Okay, we'll, we'll gang up our uh, Yogster on, put a bunch of him in my deck. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of Yogster ons now. And we'll run Yogster on into there, and Hero Power. We might actually win this game. I'm really happy about this game. It's a really exciting game. One if one of, if not the most exciting game, I should say. Okay, Direwolf Alpha. Dark Iron Dwarf, okay. Okay, getting a bit scary now. So first we'll wanna run him into there, see what war card void caver, okay. Um, what do we want to do? I guess we want to do that. Yeah. And then we can play the 3-3 three, three here and get a 5-5. Five, five. And a hero power. There we go. That's pretty good. We can kill the 2-5 and the 4-1 with our 5-5. Five, five. Hope we get Boogie Monster soon though. Void Walker, okay. A Rack 2003, you're pretty good. Or either that or I'm really bad. Okay, let's get an assassinate or shadow step, which is really useless right now because we just lost. Great. Um Yeah, we just lost. Okay, let's do that. Two damage to an undamaged minion there. Give our minion stealth until the next turn. Um, yeah, we'll run you into there. Well played. Oh, that was a really good game, and we didn't even get to see Pokemon! Hopefully, he lets us live kindly. And we can play another Yogg-Sir on, hopefully. 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 Mm, he's not gonna last live, is he? Is he? Oh, no, he's not. Well, good job, Iraq. 
Well, thank you all for watching. We'll probably come back to Boogie Monster again sometime. You know what? Let's open up a pack to celebrate this. Hopefully we don't get Boogie Monster. But, we'll see. So, let's get, um, Whispers of the Old Gods. Okay. And we'll see. Okay. Normal. Rare. Normal, normal, normal. Okay, it's not a good pack. But, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!